coming out in all shapes and sizes. Great night out there across the landscape. High school football. It's been a lot of fun. It's playoff edition here on Football Friday Night. Indeed, the road to the dome has begun. Think of it as a sweet 16 in each class and a sweet matchup in the 4A bracket to start off our coverage tonight. The battle for Ankeny. Ankeny facing Centennial at Ankeny Stadium. What a dream matchup here. Centennial led 27 to 10 at the half. The Hawks trying to come back and pull the upset off. The Centennial Jaguar team His only loss in the year was to Dowling. Ankeny's D stepping up in the third quarter. Jensen Gates just beats a wall of Hawk defenders. But the Jaguars offense got just enough done. Third and long in the third quarter. Chance Gibbons finds Ryan Van Bali. Picks up a clutch first down. And then Gibbons keeps the sticks moving again. Jake Penninger. Great catch. And a big first down. Centennial able to control the clock in the second half. Agony just couldn't get over the hump. And Centennial does win 34-24. The top seed, Valley. No trouble with Lewis Central. 45-7. So it's Valley and Centennial Friday in the quarterfinals. Winner on to the semifinals in the dough. How about Dowling taking on the Johnston Dragons? Dowling used to cheer in this time of year. They've won the last three championships. But Johnston played well early. Ben Wilson to the air, picked off by Sam Nielsen. The pig is a little bit worried out there. And uh, rightfully so, Jake Meyer to Jerron Proctor. What a grab. Just short of the end zone, and then moments later, Brock Studer. Studer cuts the lead to 7-6. to six. Second quarter, here comes Jacob Zachary. Kablawi, the battering ram, hammers away for a first down. You know what, that play works. This time there was much less resistance. He's in. Dowling was up 7-6 at one point. They won 41-6. They tend to do that to people. So Dowling, easily, rolls on. All right, so who are they playing? Waukee, taking on Southeast Polk. The Rams have been hot lately. Could they hang with the Warriors? Long touchdown run here by quarterback Drew Johnson, who has been so much for this Waukee offense. They go up 24-7. Johnson doing it with the arm as well. Great protection. Zips one to Zach Eaton. Eaton has some room to run. Gets down the sideline. Then later, Johnson looking and finding Tyrese Moore. Wide open in the end zone. Waukee blasts Southeast Spoke 52 21. We'll try to do the same to Dowling next week when we're on to the quarterfinals. Well, Dowling definitely the dynasty in 4A, but in 3A, we've got Pella. Two straight state championship seasons and working on a third. Undefeated, Oski in town to start the playoffs, beginning in the second quarter, Pella up 7-0. On the one-inch line, Blake also all day long, ties the score at seven. Pella then tries a long pass down the sideline, Nick Finney. Airing it out. Oh, I'll take that, Bennett Spry. Picks it off for Oskaloosa. Pella having some trouble. They get the ball back. Same play. This time Finney. Puts a little more juice on it. Ryan Van White. Able to fight off his man. Big gain, about 40 yards. And then Finney going to go over the middle. Again to Van White for an 11-yard touchdown. Then 13-7. Pella scores a few more late. And they win 34-14 on to the next round. All right, let's move it to Road Story at PCM in Class 2A. Great night for the youngsters out there. Prairie City Monroe up 31-7. They're having a great year. Wes Cummings up the middle. Goes outside. He's got a 20-yard gain. And then PCM tries around the left end this time to Noah Anderson. He is going to show us some moves. Check this out. Leaping his man. I like it. That leads to a touchdown and PCM. Gets it done in a big time way. 38 to 7. All right, Van Meter, 9 and 0 on the year, but in trouble in round one against AHSTW. Carson Rhodes puts Van Meter up 7 0. But the Bulldogs and Van Meter were in for a fight. They've been blowing out everybody this year, with the exception of Madrid last week. And RJ Harris picked off by Sam Thompson right here. HSTW's Connor Guess takes the bad snap and he has gone all the way to the house. Van Meter at home found himself in overtime, but they do pull it out 21 to 14. Van Meter escapes and they are moving on to the next round. How about Pellet Christian? 
hosting first round opponent Sigourney Kyoto, and they start off right. Eagles handed off to Levi Jungling. Levi's coming. 20 yard gain around the 10. Later in the drive, that worked well, so Levi's gonna try the other side. And this time, the cheerleaders know what they're cheering for. Levi with a touchdown. Pell Christian goes up 7 0. David Kak, Marinsky and company win big. 49 0. Pell Christian rolls. Great game. Madrid in Pleasantville. Third quarter, Madrid up 13 6. Michael Santi. Kid can score. Beautiful run by Santi, one of the top runners in the state. 20 to 6, Madrid. Pleasantville looking to make a comeback. Owen Worthy did, dumps it off to Hunter Tyree, who hooks up the gauge. Van Hollen. Madrid holds off the late game search for the Trojans and wins 27 to 20. Finally, this is Twin Cedars at Iowa Valley. Ryan Becker from Iowa Valley fumbles the punt and gets drilled by Jake Crozier. Goes out of bounds for a safety. Next drive for Iowa Valley. They're going to cough up the ball. And Titus Hunt there for the recovery. Twin Cedars wins this one on a crazy hook and ladder. And they win it 24-22 to survive. We're back after this.